Uh, hello YouTube, welcome to this fun little idea I had. Uh, I wanted to test my Fire Emblem knowledge and I'm going to be doing it through tier list. We do have map themes on the background. That being said, some aren't available because Nintendo did a Nintendo and um, blocked them. Anyways, um, this is the first one up. There's five of them. Um, some things I may be Googling uh, just because this is an improper iceberg video. So I just wanted to test my knowledge. Um, anyways... Corn and let's start off. Corners are our cousins. This is fact. This is canon. Um, both of their mothers are from uh, the kingdom of Ahala. Uh, they are sisters, Alret, and I can't remember uh, her name, but the stepmother of all the Hoshidan kids, and the Alret being the stepmother of all the Norian kids. Um, When both of those respective mothers married into their respective regular kingdoms of Hoshido and Nor, they already had Korin and Ezra born. So, uh, Samuragi and Garen are not the parents of the kids, respectively. Um, I think Anakotos is the father of one, if not both of them. Anyways, Azura is the dancer in Conquest Chapter 14. What is Conquest Chapter 14? Okay, it's just referring to the fact that she's disguised and no so and, and how she like has a costume and then somehow nobody recognizes her because of plot conveniences. Uh, Odin, Savara, and Laszlo. Um, essentially, if you did not know, Indigo, Elaine, and Selena from Fire Emblem Awakening are in Fire Emblem Fates, and those are the names they use. Um, I can't remember the full explanation because it's explained in DLC that I've never played before. But yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, Ike is gay. Uh, it's a popular fan theory that Ike is gay for either Ranulf or Soren. Um, I have another theory that this iceberg actually does touch upon, so I'll go on that more later. Outrealms. Uh, the Outrealms are what? Um, I can't remember if they are where you... I will, If I'm thinking of the right thing, it's Awakening and not Fates. Awakening, this is, I believe, where you go to play all the DLC. Um, and maybe also what the DLC player in Fates is called, however, so I'm not positive. Uh, next up, base is uh, better than growth. Um... This is a big debate in the Fire Emblem community of whether growth units or are better than uh, pre-promotes. Um, this is saying that essentially a pre-promote, a unit with a better base is, is better than a growth unit. I'll go in there and say a unit with solid bases and good growth rates is the best. Uh, but essentially this is saying like use, use characters like Marcus, Avil, Finn, and Thracia. Even though he's actually not a pre-promote. Um, Sigur even follows under this category. Uh, yes, uh, for the most part, I'm, uh, base unit, uh, units with high bases tend to fall off late game. But then there's ones like Titania, Seth, and Sigurd that are amazing the entire time. Um, because they also have really good bait growths. I'm personally more of a growth unit guy, but I also won't use a growth unit if their bases are abysmal. So I like using growth units that aren't trash. Um, besides that, I would take a Seth or Titania over a Franz any day. Because they're better. But someone like Oscar, he becomes way better than Titania once he's promoted. So it's just like a... One takes effort, one is good the entire time. Cell versus Sigurd is another example. Seleth will easily be better than his father... If you compare a level 30 Sigurd and a level 30 Seleth. Especially with the right items we pass down. Seleth will be better. But he also starts out way weaker. He can't one round every enemy in chapter 6. Well Sigurd can one round. Most enemies. Period. Uh, upside down Claude. That comes from the. Um, let me guess. Yep. And Mars even upside down there. Uh, it comes from the Three Houses box art. Um, where Claude's upside down. Because it's a uh, bad. Uh. Box art. Um, awaiting spot pass math. That's essentially just the maps and awakening that you can only get through spot pass, which is online. Uh, which means if awakening's ever on this channel, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, I won't be playing those, but anyways, uh, stuff like Priam's map, 
And a bunch of dead people return in the spot pass maps, which is why they're notorious. As Priam is supposedly related to Ike, which is, as you can tell, based on the Ike is gay. I uh, think is kind of like how most likely, if I had to guess, he's descendant of Mist, not Ike. Uh, again, for reasons I'll get to later. Um, um, I can't remember her name, but Crom's sister. She's she's alive in the spot pass map. Um, Walhart's alive in the spot pass, and all these people like lost some memory and amnesia. They're not considered canon normally. Uh, Camu and Zeke. Uh, that was fairly obvious. Uh, Camu was defeated in Shadow Dragon, washed up on the shores of Valentia, and was uh, raised by Rudolph. Uh, layer 2. The Barracks. Uh, let's start with that one. Ike is asexual, not gay. This is the one I personally choose to believe. Is There is, in my opinion, nothing that hints that Ike being gay in Path of Radiance Radiant Dawn. Because uh, he essentially does nothing romance-wise in either games. Um, so obviously both ways are theories, but it's not that he doesn't show any, like, response to Alencia's at times, obvious feelings towards him. He also doesn't show any feelings, though, really, to Randolph or Soren, from my memory. And I've played those games enough that I believe I have a good enough memory on that. So that's the one I personally choose to believe. Sylvain is gay. Um, I, that's the first time I'm hearing of this one. Um, I imagine, though, uh, I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, he's such a... Um, the way he interacts with the women, he kind of, like... I guess. That's an interesting way of thinking about it. Uh, that he's so flirty because he's not accepting that he's gay, I guess? All games are signed the same world. There are, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that attempt to put every game, Fire Emblem game, at the same timeline. Some of them are really good and some of them are not good. Uh, I'm not going to even attempt to really do that. Um, anyways, Robin is reincarnated Corrin. Kind of going off of that. We do know for a fact that the Guild Wars games, the Arcanea games, Awakening, and Fates do all take place in the same world. Those ones are connected. Because, um, I'm assuming this may even mention, uh, Lithis being the one to find the Arcanea. One of, the, one of these probably does. Um, but it does make sense, because Korn was a dragon, just like Robin is part dragon, um, it takes place in the same world, you know, Legendary Dragon, Legendary Dragon. Like, Anand Coast is like one of the, the big dragons. Big, big dragons. Uh, pre-Nog, I believe. Although, I would argue, um, that Robin is more of a reincarnation of Lopter than, Cor than of Corrin. I don't know if it's on here. Do they mention the Dead Lords being an awakening in here? Because if they do, then I will say one. It does not look like they're going to. But I will essentially say... Um... Um, the Dead Lords appear in Fire Emblem Awakening, which shouldn't be possible because the Dead Lords, like, are tied to Lopter's blood. And Grima was a artificial dragon. So, I personally am of the headcanon that Grima, uh, was created using Lopter's blood. Because we don't really know where Yugdral is in relation to, um... That's an interesting theory. That Yodhra and Fates Landy are the same continent. Anyways, um. <laughs> Gross versus bases, kind of touching on that. Corn and Azura are not related. Well, that's just. not correct. Perry's eyes. Her eyes are red. Cool. Pan and Yarn are not the last Tangul. Tangul. So, uh, that's a beast type of unit in uh, Awakening that are supposedly extinct. Um, I've heard of this theory before. 
I don't know enough about Awakenings lore to really have an answer for that one. Glenn. Glenn's the Cormog's brother, so Glenn's alive. Uh, do we even see his death in Ephraim's route? I don't think you do, so, uh, maybe. Gay marriage hacks. What game? No idea. That's the... That one is, like, the first one I have, like, zero idea. Uh, Room of Skinship game, that's a mini-game, like, where you touch all your units' faces and fates. Good. I'm glad it's removed. Priam is lying, essentially, of, like, I if Ike's gay and asexual, how does he have a direct descendant? Priam's lying! And, and easy to come to a conclusion. Infinite universes? Now that's just, like, getting to, like, multiverse and crap. I mean, I guess it's, like, stuff like Divine Pulses, though, and Miller's Turnwheel. Every single time you use that, technically would create in universe a new universe and every like every RNG would be a different universe so I guess yeah um you'll see it's 12 years old we don't know the age of any of the awakening kids um we like know the year they're born but we don't know like the direct year that they're from so I believe like Lucina we know mathematically is between 12 and like 21 or something years old uh we don't know her exact age we just have a general idea of between it um Josiah, he, um, voice actor flawed. I, I, I don't know what else there is to say. He, I believe he used to be military. Air Force, I believe. Um, that's really all I know about him, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, thank Cliff and Silica's route. So, in, there's actually, I, is there two ways to do this? It may, I believe, if somebody dies... You can revive them on either side, but I'm assuming what this is referring to is the only villagers that you are required to have with you are Gray and Tobin because they auto-join you. You have to talk to Fae and Cliff to get them to join you. So if you don't recruit them with Alm in Act 1, you can go to Ram Village with Silica before ending Act 2 and recruit them to her side. Um... Cypher OCs, uh, Final Cypher is a card game, Japan normally, it had some original characters. They are actually available for DLC and that goes. Spider-Man X Lucina, uh, some weird fandom bullcrap, or like, you had the Peppa Pig, Lucina, vil Lucina being the villain of Peppa Pig, and then you got Spider-Man in love with Lucina, I, I don't know. Uh, Tokyo Mirage se uh, Sessions, uh, censorship, essentially, um, in the original for Wii U, the Tokyo Mirage Sessions, they aged up a couple of characters and added more clothes. Uh, so Lael's censorship, you've probably heard of the gay conversion therapy seen from Fates. That. That's what it is. Summoners from our universe. Uh, from Fire Emblem Heroes. Okay. I don't know what else there really is to say on that one. Okay. Uh, who's Robin's mother? No idea! Maybe she doesn't, he, she doesn't have one? Dark man, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, substitute characters. If any female dies in Gen 1 genealogy, or is then paired up, you get substitutes instead of their kids. Secret shop in GBA games. There's secret shop in GBA games? Azure Moon Root Split. So, there's some, like, weird stuff in internally. So, like, Intelligence System claims that, uh... There was never supposed to be a root split in Azure Moon, but you have the going left and going right decision, which means nothing, by the way, in the game. And yeah, uh, shock. Um, and there's also dialogue and map placement on Chapter 18 of Azure Moon of Felix and Annette as enemies on the field, and they have recorded dialogue of everything of betraying you. So, Lynn is underage. In the original game, she was 16. Um, the North America version aged her up to 18. Smash Bros. being canon? I mean, with the infinite universes? Sure. Ash was originally Golden Deer. Uh, this is because Ash fits better with the Golden Deer. Um, because the Golden Deer is a very mixed up house with a bunch of 
different people of different backgrounds. Um, personality wise, Ash is very clumsy and like very bright. So like, well, Black Eagles is a mix of like commoners and nobles. I don't really think Ash really fits over there. Um, but like his personality, he fits right in with other Golden Deer like uh, Raphael and Ignatz, who by the way is underrated. Mostly because of Christian Relamont's voice acting, but underrated. Um, he just doesn't seem very knightly. Plus, he's a bow user, and Golden Deer is a very bow-oriented house, so... Get out of here. So, yeah, I... I, I... Plus... Uh, early builds, I don't know if it was like early builds or like early trailers or something, actually something did show Ash as Golden Deer as well. Uh, apparently there's was unused recruit voice lines. I already touched on Priam being Miss Descendant. And essentially the American camp comes from very old Thrashia, Thrashia 776, uh, fan translations before Little Munster and, uh, sorry Little Manster, because the name uses the... And Project Exile. Uh, it comes from four of those, a very old one, where uh, there were a lot of memes in the localizations. That's where, like, the shut up, stupid bitch memes come from, because uh, that's Kempf Dialogue talking to Olwen. Uh, and then there's also something about him, like, being, like, leader of America and stuff. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen the meme. Anyways, layer five. Why are Nino's children in an orphanage? Probably because Nino died in between 6 and 7. Cheering Saga. It exists. It's pretty cool. Enemy control of the mind. Essentially, there's a glitch in the GBA games that have the mind. I don't know actually how to pull it off, but I know there's a glitch there if you pull it off. You actually can control the enemies and do a ton of wacky stuff. Uh, Lavina Roy is incest. Um, it can be incest. Um, depending on who you pair... Elwood and Hector up with an FE7 for headcanon. If you pair them both up with Pegasi sisters, and then Roy and Lelina are incest. Belk, Bel Belka Mirage? Or is that marriage? I, I can't read. I've never heard of the character, so I'm assuming it's Tokyo Ma second. Whenever I search that up, I just get Baruka. Alright, okay, so I guess that's the game for just to tell of you. Um was really sort of to all of you. This is the four chapters of goals to get a high score. You got one with Camus Knights, uh, one with Nina escaping, uh, one with Paula in it, and I do not remember the fourth. Um, it's actually in Final Emblem 12. They're, it's cool. I I don't really care much. Uh, Final Emblem 64. That was the game plan for the N64. It got cancelled and eventually a lot of elements... Went into... Hey, F4 music. Did YouTube fix their shuffle? We're actually getting a large variety, variety of games. Anyways, um... A lot of elements from it went into... Path of Radiance and Binding Blade, actually. Um... Lisa is a great-grandmother before her coming of age. I'm assuming by coming of age it means her getting the brand of the Exalt. Maybe. Aloise doesn't have a wife. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I really don't know much about Aloise, which is a shame, because I really like the voice actor is the guy. I've actually gotten to talk with him. Uh, really cool. Really cool guy. I really like Aloise as a character. He's one of my favorites from... He's one of my favorites in Three Houses, but I've never really bothered using him, because Armor Knight equals bad. Next time I play, I might... When I eventually play three houses on this channel, I might have to turn him into like a wyvern lord or something, honestly, because I like Aloise a lot. Um, I know he supposedly has a wife in 
Actually, I don't. Does he even mention? I don't think he mentions wife. He only mentions kids, I believe. I seem like he's a really good father, so maybe he's just a single father. You lay. No do. No idea what those are. Are those capturable generic enemy units and fates? Don't know. Boris works for IS. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, or is there like some leaker known as Boris? The original fate scenario was actually good. So if you didn't know, they actually brought in a very, very famous, I believe it was either anime or manga writer to write the original treatment for fates. But supposedly they completely changed the story when they actually adapted to a game. And it sounds like 10%, if not less, of the script actually ended up in the game. Believe that. Uh, Pokemon Conquest. I might be referring to the fact that Fates is like a Pokemon game where there's multiple different separate purchases. No idea. 776, uh, Angel Number, no idea. Magic lets men have children. What does that mean, like? What does it mean by that? Like, two men are able to procreate? I mean, I think that's a fair way. I think that's an understandable way to possibly do gay relationships in FE4 remake. But I don't know what I was trying to say there. Gangrel was in love with Robin. Well, like what Gangrel is it talking about? Is it talking about the the one from um? The what's it called it? The spot pass paralog, or is it talking about like regular Gangrel? Or I'm gonna be honest, YouTube. So I'm not I'm not very knowledgeable on the law of the war stuff and Fates and Awakening. And I'm not very knowledgeable on the law of the Awak uh, three houses of mechanics. So uh, Kaga still works for IS. Love Kaga, love his stories, love his game design, but there's not enough cliches in the modern Fire Emblem games. Not enough kidnapped women, or very questionable um, treatment of women. Um, dead dads, but that's about it. So I'd say just because of that, if he still works at IS... No, and a lot of his design philosophies aren't in modern Fire Emblem. I'm just going to debunk that here. I'm not going to say all of his design philosophies were good. But I'd take a Thracia map over a Three Houses map any day. But I'd also take a Three Houses character over a Thracia character other than Leaf. And Finn. Any day. Boris is from the future. I'm going to look up Boris Fire Emblem and find out who this guy is. No idea. Seth drinks monsters. <laughs> okay. Despicable Me and Demi Claude. Byleth is a groomer, and I'm assuming he's referring to the fact that Byleth can marry all the students in three houses. Corin's feet. Um, I'm assuming that has to do with the models and fates actually have feet, unlike the Awakening one. Crom and oranges, doesn't he like knock over like a box of oranges? Uh when you first meet all the shepherds in Awakening. Nephany peeing. Seneth has double DS. <laughs> Arvis is the good guy. That's Arvis does nothing wrong type stuff. Okay. Crimea is a real place. It is in It is contested territory, is the most I'm going to say, because some countries, Russia, say it's theirs, 
where other countries say Crimea isn't theirs. Isn't Russia's, so... It's a real place, but... Send prayers to Crimea. Every copy of Thracia 776 is personalized. Dimitri murders woman, not just kills, but murders. Yeah, he kinda does that to everyone, so sure. Seth is a bad unit. You're on drugs. Emerin does a flip. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh my goodness. Uh, a lot of these are either seem like they are memes, inside jokes, or like really like weird. Rodriguez Dimitri's mother? Edelgard never actually had siblings is actually a decent enough theory. Ferdinand X Huber. What? Second iceberg, how long are we at? Okay, only 26 minutes. Um, crest is an equivalent of cancer. Yeah, I guess. Especially for people like Lysithia and Edelgard where they had experiments done on them to give them more crests. Byleth is a stillborn. Yeah. I... Being gay, essentially. Awakening was originally planned to be the final game in the series. Everybody knows that at this point. MV4 Jealousy Glitch! This is referring to the fact that um, in the original Japanese version, in old translations, Project Naga actually fixes this. But in old translations of MV4, um, if Celeth starts Chapter 6 with Orni, you know if you can do this glitch on it, whether you, if Celeth has two leadership starts when you first start Chapter 6. First of all, if you reset the game, the bug fixes itself. Because what happens if you immediately... Sometimes if you immediately go from Chapter 5 to Chapter 6 in um, genealogy, is it doesn't... The Gen 1 characters and the Gen 2 characters use some of the same programming. So if you don't reset the game in between Chapter 5 and 6, Seth will still have some of Sigur's internal data, and Julia will have some of Deirdre's, which allows you to exploit the jealousy mechanic. And make the pair because they natively have a negative love growth. Because they start at 490. Um, but they have a negative love growth. But with the jealousy system, the jealousy system means that they get more love than they lose. Just so you compare them. Chris and Niosi, he was the original voice actor by left. He was a uh, domestic abuser, I believe. Um, mind glitch. As mentioned in 313 Archer from Radiant Dawn, essentially one of the Archer AI archers is really good at their job. Intern Cun, uh, essentially that's a joke for like leaks releasing. Let me just say, I wish we had Intern Cun for Choose Your Six, uh, Choose Your Legend Six results because waiting a week to find out if Self stayed in the top two or not was a painful experience. He did, but it was still painful waiting. Uh, Silver Snow is the first route made. And three houses, that's just a fact, yeah. BSFE, that's, um, to tell you, view fire on when we already mentioned it. Skarha! Yeah. Um, sorry, uh, Skarha was changed to Ulster, then went back to Skarha. Yeah. Uh, because there's a location in Thrasia that also changes localizations. It's actually named, it's actually the name of this place is based on a real place in Ireland. It changes between Ulster and Ulster depending on the translations. Like in Project Naga, you got Ulster instead of Scarhaw, and the location of Ulster is Ulster. So, Maiden Mercedes design. Her hair was a different color. That's it. There are two gatekeepers. Gatekeeper and Abyss Keeper. I think that's what I was referring to. Radiant Dawn translation errors. Translation errors. I know they changed some stuff, but errors. Oh, it's time about the difficulties being put as hard, normal, and easy as have normal, hard, and brutal. Over 100% critical? Yes, you could do that with Ferdinand with the right setup, I believe. Or am I thinking of Ferdinand dodge tanking? And it's Petra that he get 100%? Don't know. Roy's first appearance in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Fun fact, Fire Emblem 6 was delayed by a couple of months. It was originally supposed to release before Melee in Japan. We're talking Japan release dates. Um, but, Binding Blade got delayed, so 
Roy's first game was Smash Bros. He was in Smash Bros. before his own game. Azure Moon Root Split, already talked about Fire Emblem OVA, there's a Fire Emblem anime. A famous voice actor for Martha, I believe. I'm not sure I haven't watched it. Um, female War Master. Uh, War Master is a male exclusive class in Three Houses. Any Unikis, Dark Magic, and Sacred Stones? With hacking, yeah. And probably the Mind Glitch. That's all I really got there. Someone buy a vote for George and Choose Your Legends? Two years in a row. George got last place this year. <laughs> um, Hedgeron, Edelgard, HP Overflow. So I'm assuming that just means like in Maddening. Hedgeron, Edelgard has more HP than um, is technically designed in the game, I guess. Uh, if you kill Fargus in FE7, you get a game over. A BSFE is sometimes considered Fire Emblem 5. I don't consider it Bond, but yeah. Fire Emblem exists in the Paper Mario universe. I've heard something about that. They're both developed by intelligent systems. Makes sense. Rally Man. I think that's a three houses thing. You don't know it though. Four three DS Fire Emblem. Uh, over time there were a there was another remake for the three DS planned. It would have sold worse than Shadows of Valentia because Shadows of Valentia got thrashed by releasing on a dead console. So a fourth three DS game would have like released in 2018, 2019. It would not have sold well. It would have been one of the lowest selling Fire Emblem games. And it probably would have been a remake and that might have pulled the plug of future remakes. I'm glad it didn't happen. Tuner Ring Sock was originally meant to be a successful Fire Emblem? Yeah! Uh, created by Shozo Kaga. It was originally even called Emblem Saga until uh, legal stuff got involved. Mario Kart, Mario Kart Double Dash bonus disc. A fun joke about Elum in Heroes is a lot of people are disappointed it showed her a game of appearance as Fire Emblem 6 instead of the bonus disc. Because her, the only time she's actually visible is in the Mario Kart Double Dash bonus disc. Where if you link that bonus disc and a GBA together, you get bonus items. And uh, I know Binding Blade for a fact, positive Blazing Blade don't know about Sacred Stones. You get trial maps in FE6. Uh, for it, actually. Uh, Fergus is Beowulf's illegitimate son. Yes, the popular theory, what a lot of people do is the canon pairing, as far as I'm concerned, is Lachesis and Beowulf. They had a son, Thermont. Beowulf ran away from her. Because he's like, you deserve better than me. Uh, then had his son, Fergus, because Fergus can use the Beowblade in Thracia, which is a personal weapon for Darmont. And then, um, Leanne, not... Not Leanne, sorry, I see that Gian is the substitute of Nana. But Nana is uh, actually the daughter of Finn, is the common theory. So, yeah. Silbo left a sword. I don't remember how to do it, but you can steal the left sword from. Is it Raiderick or one of the dead lords in the final chapter of Thrashi? I can't remember, but you can steal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kish. Una and Merlinus battle sprites. No idea. Fiora was meant to have higher base stats. Yeah, I remember base stats really bad. Kaga hates axes. There's no axe users in FE2. FE3. Book 2. You get one axe user in Gen 1 of FE4. One can promote into an axe user. Then your base axe users in Gen 2 also suck. You can also only have two, which is Leaf and one of the two brothers. Yeah! No, he hates axes! Uh, Fire Emblem 64 again. Civic 1 and Ethlin. Not possible because you can't attack uh, yellow units. So you're gonna smash 64. That has been proven false. Uh, Marth was actually an idea for Smash uh, 64, but Sigurd, Aseleth, and Leaf never were. And I'm about to say, Leaf and Melee also was never considered. It was always going to be Roy and Marth. Penta Axe General. No idea. FE5 Theme of Love. Uh, that is a reference to if um, Nana dies in Chapter 5 of Thracia, and you have Leaf enter that or battle arena... A tiny little snippet of the theme of love from Fire Emblem 3 will play. Nate. 
Is that talking about Nate the Hate? Who, as a... Oh, I was about to say as of recording this, but this video is going to be uploaded with no editing. By the way, this video is not going to be edited. Um, He's recently... Reek, Lumard, whatever, saying we're going to get a new Fire Emblem game this year and a remake of Genealogy next year. Um, take it with a grain of salt. He's been right in the past, but he's also a firm believer on the Switch Pro, which has yet to be announced. So, grain of salt! I uh, then no idea what Inui is. What actually happens to Dorcas? I mean, he isn't in Fire Emblem 6. Dead? Photon and Magvel are in the same universe. I don't know enough about the non-game lore of Sacred Stones to have any opinion. Oh, that's what Pokemon Conquest was the last one. Yeah, originally they actually wanted the Pokemon and uh, Fire Emblem crossover, but uh, they weren't able to, like, arrange or something, which is how we got Tokyo Mirage Sessions with uh, Shimigami Tensei and said, F.E. Mangas. There's Mangas! A Fire Emblem, if you didn't know. Uh, the most famous one is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Osa Osagi or something like that. Manga for Fire Emblem 4. Um, Zane was originally meant to be in Tearing Saga. There. Oh my god. I've heard this theory before and every time I always had the same reaction of... Really? Fates in Universe Exists is a porn manga written by Inigo. Uh, Emblem Saga demo, as essentially a cheering saga demo, it had some more connections to Fire Emblem, like Runin's hair was blue, and the name was Emblem Saga. Uh, Nils is for Seti. This is a common one. Uh, this is often a theory that's done by people who want to say that, um, FE7 and FE6 take place in the main timeline. But that also applies to FE6 and FE7 happen really early in the timeline. Which is impossible. Uh. Because the scouring would be when, like, all the, like, dragons get killed and they start turning into human form, like in Arcanea. But all the events of Young's will have to happen before that, because Arcanea hadn't been discovered yet, most likely. So. Intelligent Systems accidentally hinted at FE4 Remake? Please. Playable Reinhardt in a future Thracia remake. Based on his popularity in Heroes, I wouldn't doubt that, but please don't do that. This is the Three Houses map theme, right? I like this one. It's a pretty cool map theme. I like it. What time are we at? Okay. Yeah, that one only took 10 minutes. Okay! I already see Gay Ike. Necrophilia Orson, yeah. His wife is supposedly, like, brought back brought back by Lion, but, like, barely. You never see her, but you see all the characters, re all, like, the main characters, Erica, Ephraim, and uh, Seth's reaction to her, and it's, like, not good. Um, Petty Man Game, we've already been on that's the skinship. Lens Age, we've already been over that. Three Houses Manning! Yeah, the comment here is it wasn't playtested. Yeah. Uh, Sonya turns into a witch. I think that's if you don't recruit her. She turns into a witch because, like, she gives up her soul to, like, Duma. Uh, Kanos dies in a snowstorm. I don't know the FE6 uh, supports, but I know that his mother is a playable unit, Neem, and his son is a playable unit. Or daughter, I can't remember, but he has a descendant in that game. But he's not, so, likely. Artemis marrying and colliding with his sister. <laughs> Remember, kids, incest allows the dark god to be resurrected. Soren's identity. Spoiler. I should have said this earlier. This video has spoilers to literally every Fire Emblem game, probably. Soren is the son of Ashnar. And he's part dragon. Because his mother is, uh... I don't remember her name. Amelda's son. Uh, Path of Rage Maniac Mode? Yeah, it's bad. Bad des gameplay design. Uh, there's a reason it was actually a good good choice to cut it out of the North American release from what I could tell. Esfolo? Uh, he's a thief in Fire Emblem 6. Uh, mentioned Ingrid's husband. 
I don't know much about the support of Fire Emblem 6 or the lore outside of like the main story, so I couldn't tell you. And we've already covered the South Julia Glyph. Stefan Zun Ancestor. No idea. Sounds interesting. Azuka's experiments. Uh, Feral Ones and Final Emblem 9, 10. Ludic Plus Awakening. Bad gameplay design. Yeah. Rain Darkness. N64 Fire Emblem's name. FE11 Hard 5 early game. Yeah, uh, the common strat is to like grind for like 7 bajillion turns in the first two maps. Uh, and, like, break their axes, hand axes, and axes, and just grind off of them forever. Translation errors in Nurgle's last words? In his last words, I know the quintessence stuff was, like, bad localization, but I didn't know about that one. Simplify script using an uh, FE10 localization. There's two different scripts for FE10. The simple and the complex one. Um... Uh, there's just, like, this myth of the complex one, like, like, the simple one cuts out story details. No, the simple one just cuts down character. There's one of the biggest complaints is there's not as much characterization in FE10 as Wrath of Radiance. That is what you should blame the simple script on, not any story grievances. Um, Guy and Priscilla's ending was changed in the West. I don't even know what it is in the West. Uh, Finn, Father Nit, talked about that one already. Um, yeah. Dawn Brigade was buffed in the West. Yes! Uh, the, the personal weapons of Radiant Dawn that the Dawn Brigade get, that's only in the West. That's not in Japan. Radiant Dawn is a better game in the West. It just is. Uh, Edwin lifts Amelia's skirt in the Japanese support. Mercedes' dad. Vaxeroid Lopterian Sect. Essentially, um, even if they had nothing to do with, like, Lopter, just because they had Lopter blood in them, they were persecuted, which drove them to seclusion, which eventually drove them to worshipping Lopter. Uh, Tina's Punishment. Oh! She, like, wants to run away, then Pan, like, dangles a spider in front of her. It's a punishment. Um, yeah, you conversion therapy again. Uh, Transcendent Kaiza. This must be a new tier list. Um, I don't know what started like the whole thing, but actually, in the America Ver Heroes localization, they have kind of leaned into the fact that Kaiza is non-binary, as they use they them pronouns. Um, Rolf's mother? She dead! Do they hint that he has a different mother than Oscar and Boyd, though? Castorated Excelius. What? Uh, this one has a lot I've never heard of, clearly. Sean T. Pete? That's like... One of the enemies in early game Path of Radiance? Um, I'm not gonna go into death of FE4 Gen 3. Uh, Kaga had ideas for a third generation involving... The Gen 1 parents that were turned into stone. Like Cascus, Ira, Azel, Lex. I believe are the four. Yeah. Borwick. Outsold Tellius in Japan. Well, Tellius sold absolutely her. Get, Tellius sold bad in the US. It sold worse in Japan. Um, I believe Japan sales number wise, Tellius are the. Second and third worst selling games behind uh, Thracia. Although, FE11 and 12 may actually be lower. I'm not positive. Martian Awakening. Uh, Awakening almost took place on Mars. Early ideas had it on Mars. You look Hilda. There's a Hilda in uh, Genealogy of the Holy War. And she's the most abusive person in the universe. I despise her. Azel's backstory. Uh, his and Arvis's father was a drunk. Our, their father had children with many women. I can't remember why of all the half-siblings, Arvis actually treated Azel right, but all the other siblings, Arvis kind of like ignored. Azel is the only one he considered a true sibling. Um, Every six hit rate fly to you. Yes, they do. 
If they're below, if they're like 37 percent lower, they're actually lower than the displayed hit rate. And if they're 86 or higher, which is almost impossible in the hit game, they are higher than displayed. That is a side effect of early 2RM system. Byleth and Edelgard are the fire emblem. Kind of. The crest of flames is the fire emblem, and both of them have the crest of flames. Byleth the major one, Edelgard the minor one. The says death in the manga. No idea. Didn't know there was one a manga for FE215. A Travon's crush on Evel Ethelin. Yeah, a uh, Travon's in love with Ethelin in the uh, previously mentioned FE4 manga. That's one of the reasons why he kills Quan and Ethelin, because he's mad. Like Questus and 24X. Apparently, she's like you can something about a theory of her like being in stone in that chapter. I guess slave markers and cannot and Knorda. Oh, is this trying to say that they're connected? X a doubt, but both of them have child slave markets. Uh, Kamui is a founder of Consin. Isn't that just a fact? Because that's a mercenary nation. Uh, that eventually became uh, one of the main country countries involved. Where Sayori and Faye are from. So they have four statue theory, that's just the Gen 3 thing. Uh, Dancer Plum. Yes, that's Tearing Saga. Uh, Plum is a unit. Uh, Plum can get kidnapped. If you let Plum get kidnapped by putting her in a certain village, you will eventually get her back like ten chapters later as a dancer. Uh, not a cool, yeah. Well, Alms Falchion is in Magvel. First I'm hearing of it. I would, however, explain why that Falchion is in an awakening. Yune's epilogue. Uni, I mean, Kog Kaga's racist, but I don't understand what those have to do with each other. Because Uni's from Radiant Dolan and Path of Radiance, which Kaga wasn't there for. Kaga being a racist. There's like five black people in fire, black, black people in Fire Emblem. Uh, you got Garrett and Effie Six. Convenient that the first one is there. Uh, Fiora. Fiona, and I don't know her name mostly because I've never used her, in Radiant Dawn. Basilio. Flavia, I think? I can't remember what Flavia looks like. I'm going to feel really bad if I'm wrong about that. Gray in some art is depicted as being a lot darker skinned. I know I'm missing a couple, but there's not very many is my point. So, um, yeah. Plagia, Awakening Stripped is racist. Yeah. I don't know what it was referring to in general, but Fire Emblem being racist. Yeah. Effie 7 plagiarized, he plagiarized hearing. No, hearing song is way better than Effie 7 story wise in like every way. I, I don't believe it. Veld Scrap's second phase. Interest is that they originally have a second phase run to make him not push over of a boss. And I've already kind of mentioned the idea of, like, Lethus found in Arcanea. Vistaria is a metaphor for Krago's struggles. That'd be the first I've heard of it, and I've played Vistaria Saga. Um, Navaron was a blueprint for Garrick Mock. No idea what that is. Oh, uh, was that an idea from the scrapped uh, second Fire Emblem game on the Wii? Maybe. Game Boy Color boot. There's a bootleg Fire Emblem on the Game Boy Color, and it, like... I believe it's Fargas that has the video on it. You should give it a watch, though. Truth about Gerixel. That's one of the... That's a Kaga saga. I don't know. I just mentioned you canceled that game for the Wii. A connection between Tearing and Berwick. Yeah, apparently they like take place in the same world. I haven't played Berwick. And uh, Tearing Saga's map is like in the files of uh, Berwick Saga. Uh, there's... What? A scrapped Echo's avatar, thank goodness. FE7 released in the West to outsell Tear Ring, not because of Smash. Nah. Nah. Don't know what Kloss is. Okay, 15 minutes, but I think... We're not going to have a whole lot of new stuff, because these are going to be repeating. Uh, apparently there's a Mermidon on FE7 in Corrupt with a Horse Slayer. Um... That's because I believe they changed the enemy type in the West version, in the version that we got in the West. 
Uh, Maniki defense overflow. Don't know what that's referring to, but it might be like referring to the fact that how like Maniki's work in some Fire Emblem games, uh, where they can actually get higher than capped than cap stats in like games like FE3, I believe. Um, Vision Quest is a famous ROM hack. This is Mark of Exalt is inside her body. That's what I personally always believe. F7 Lelia was supposed to be playable. I believe that. Um, Kids of the 3DS remake. Uh, mention, mention. Anacodos uh, possesses Leo after the events of Birthright. That's why I have heard of that theory, but there's like no grounding to it. F Fates Festival of the Bonds, no idea. Xander's death was intended by himself. Like Ryoma's was in Conquest, I believe it. Martha was supposed to be in Smash 64. That one is true. That is the only Smash uh, Fire Emblem character thing that is actually true. I actually grew up in, uh, Fire, in uh, Smash 4, maybe. But out Melee and Smash 64, that is the only one that actually is true. With a caveat. It's not that he was supposed to. I believe um, Sakurai said that if he had more time, he wanted to do him. Not that he was supposed to, that he wanted to. And he also said the same thing with Wario and Melee. The Uber Lands, that's like a lands only in the files. They can't be used. Elam appears in the Mario Kart Double Dash Bros. Disc. Yep, a Renault. He's a character that lives in seclusion in FE7. Asked about all I can tell you about him, because I know nothing about his character. Uh, Yen Fargus has a really, I believe he has a really, he has a uh, support study on him. Support science. I haven't watched it just because I don't really care about a lot of the Elub characters. But I imagine it's... If it's any living like gas other videos, it's really good. <gasps> oh, legendary fate. Outline. Yeah. Already talked about it. Enemy mind glitch. Gatekeeper. Oh, that's what I was talking about too. Gatekeepers. Not the best keeper, but there's like another one in, um, Crimson, in uh, Crimson Flower Chapter 12. In that little area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says between Roy and Alina, Yelena. Uh, FE3 Gen 3. Awakening saved the series. You probably all know that. Indigar's siblings never existed. I've never heard about it today, but I guess it's plausible. Yep. That one. Gah. Gregor's in the real name. Do not research. Quit of sentence, mistranslation. I already mentioned that with FE7 of, like, when they had the Norgo one. Uh, Marion kills herself if Byleth does not recruit her. Um, yes, because you never face Marianne as an enemy um, in uh, post time skip uh, FE3 houses. That's kind of a gruesome one. Uh, just like how if uh, Lysithia isn't paired up with anyone, she dies as well. Uh, Project Exile Controversy. Fitting that I start reading this one as soon as we got Thracian music. There's a lot of drama with the prop, like the localization, the fan translation of Thracia. Um, that's really all I can tell ya. I like Little Master more mo just because it adds a lot of uh, quality of life stuff. Dark T spikes. It's uh, you could kill the Death Knight pretty easily with it. And uh, three houses, barbecue. <laughs> Sigurd go. Uh, games for Awakening. Guess what? Awakening isn't the first game in the Fire Emblem franchise. Team A and B. Uh, two teams at intelligence systems, maybe? Maybe referring to, like, 
Uh, you had a team, I believe you had a team A and team B with three houses. Um, I'm assuming. Jealousy mechanic, we already kind of talked to like, how you can like, exploit that in FE4. Uh, Black Knight Hammer Strat. I could use hammers in Radiant Dawn. Black Knight's armor isn't enchanted so that only Ragnall and a Dull Knight can do damage. You can use a hammer. Creature campaign. Uh, that's a thing that exists in uh, Sacred Stones. Yeah. The mind glitch you've already explained. Pursuit critical coefficient. No idea. Apotheus hard version. That's like a map in like Hector Hard. I'm assuming like there's something really hard about that map in Hector Hard mode. I guess. I don't know. I've never played it. Gen three of FE four. Misha's recruitment, like, I have to, like, she's a pain in the ass recruit because you have to, like, put her to, because you have to, like, capture her. But she's also a mounted unit, so you need to get her off her mount. 19XX and, uh, and Blazing Blade. There's a Gaiden of a Gaiden. Yeah, it's the first, it's the set, uh, you get it by defeating Kaushna in that chapter, in his first chapter. Uber Spear, we already talked about. Fire Emblem 64, we already talked about. Azure Seltra refresh, no idea. Michaelis lives, yeah, he doesn't die in Fire Emblem 11 slash 1. And you can actually recruit him in Fire Emblem 12. Hidden playable units in Fire Emblem 3, yes, there's actually data for characters that are not playable and never were released in three houses. Uh, Super Naga Blood. So my Holy Blood shenanigans, I guess, I don't know. Dark Magic Stone, I don't, this one's good, I don't know a lot of this. I swear. Uh, prank Cypher cards. Again, no idea. A Village Rune FE6. Um, there's actually multiple minor root splits in FE6. The one that's inside by a village that you can go to. Biorhythm, I couldn't explain it to you if you put a gun to my head. But it's a mechanic in uh, the Tellies games. Everything is predetermined in FE4. FE4 is very unique with how its RNG works. Is if you were to open up a playthrough of FP4 on YouTube, and you did everything the exact same as them, you would get the exact same results. That being said, one tiny, tiny mistake, and the RNG changes. And I've already mentioned the blue line where it's spread. 7-Eleven, man. No idea. Arion's like a completely different character in FP5, which is what I was referring to. 100 hit miss. Uh, one of the Fire Emblem games. I can't remember which one it is. I believe it is a Mighty Blade. 100% can miss. Kyle notes. Haven't we already had FE4 Gen 3? That's essentially FE4 Gen 3, but I'm assuming that one also is referring to uh, Kyle notes that Lacastis being in love with her sister. Brother. Her brother. Eldigan. Eldigan's a guy. A Tiki Star steals the Star Sphere. I'm assuming that's starting, uh, the fact that Tiki starts with what the Star Sphere becomes in Awakening. Uh, it'll guard HP Overflow. We already mentioned that one, and I don't know. FE Space Limits, that meant they, like, cut stuff out of uh, uh, FE 3 Book 1. Yeah. Um, BSFE Pala, apparently she's, like, godly in it. Um, staff, good at Dual Action, don't know. FE 5, Theme of Love, we talked about. Silken Knight, Merida. I'm assuming that has to do with, like, if you let her die in Chapter 2 of A Star Saga, how you could recruit her in Chapter 9. Emperor class in Arena. The Emperor class. Arvis's personal class from Gen 2 of Fire Emblem 4 can be in the Arena. It's weird. Uh... Well, YouTube, that's it. Uh, I think I've proved that I'm the nerd, but not the biggest nerd in the Fire Emblem community. Hopefully you enjoyed. We had some good music. We had some pretty good music. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. See you next time.